Have you ever seen the research from flat earth theorists? These individuals teach that instead of being round, their earth is actually a flat disk floating through space. Their research is actually kind of convincing at first until you compare it with the mountains of evidence that prove the earth is round. Another one is those who believe that the Holocaust never happened. These individuals say the Holocaust was a hoax because Jews made the whole thing up in order to win sympathy to regain their homeland. This too sounds convincing until you compare their research with the mountain of research proving the Holocaust took place. Then we come to the Jehovah's Witnesses. I have had my fair share of conversations with Jehovah's Witnesses who asked me, if Jesus is God, then who raised him from the dead? They ask this because the Watchtower teaches them that Jesus did not raise himself but was raised by Jehovah. However, what they fail to receive is that the Bible plainly and clearly teaches Jesus raised himself and that the resurrection of Jesus absolutely points to the Trinity. But to start, I'll say I agree with Jehovah's Witnesses that indeed Jehovah did raise Jesus. Acts chapter 3 verse 15 says, And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. But what they don't tell you is that the Bible also teaches that the Spirit raised Jesus from the dead. Romans 8 verse 11 says, If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. But what they really don't want you to hear is that the Bible plainly teaches Jesus raised himself. John chapter 2, verses 19 and 21. Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Let's read that again. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. One more time. I will raise it up. Now, please feel free to pause this video. Take the time to thoroughly research the context of these verses. Look in the chapters before, chapters after. Whatever you got to do to exhaust all excuses and find the true explanation for this verse, at the end of the day, you will find out that Jesus is saying he will raise himself. If, indeed, you are a Jehovah's Witness who has had a lifetime of watchtower indoctrination, you're probably struggling about now. I understand that. Uh, better yet, Jesus understands that. That's why he provided more evidence from his word for you. John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18 for this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own account. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I received from my Father. Read that again. I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. One more time. I have authority to take it up again. Now friends, again, pause this video. Look at the chapters before, the chapters after, whatever you have to do to exhaust any questions you may have. At the end of the day, you will find the context is plainly saying, Jesus will raise himself. So, here we are with the Bible. It plainly shows us that the Father will raise Jesus, the Spirit will raise Jesus, and Jesus will raise Jesus. 
But the Bible also says God raised Jesus. Hmm. I wonder if that's the Trinity doctrine. Well, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we haven't taken the time to ask the Watchtower what they believe. After all, we can't know truth without finding out what the Watchtower teaches, right? So let's see what the Watchtower has to say about these passages. I'll encourage you to go to their page called Questions from Readers. Uh, the link is in the description box. And as we look through this page, we find that, hey, indeed, they share John chapter 2, break down this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. They also share John chapter 10. I have the right to receive it back again. Hmm. They also share Romans 8, 11, the spirit of him who raised up Jesus from the dead. So here we have all the verses that are pointing to the Trinity. So what does the Watchtower conclude after seeing all these verses in their page? Their conclusion, Jesus Christ could not have meant that he would raise himself from the dead. <laughs> what? After seeing all these plain, clear verses, this is their conclusion, that he could not have meant that. Well, let's look at why. There's several things we can look at here, and they, they point to some obscure translations from the Old Testament for one. But the main one I really want to dig into is John chapter 10, 17 and 18. They use the verse here that reads, I have the right to receive it back again. New English Bible. Now, friends, I took the time to look up every Bible I could possibly think of. It was like 55 different Bibles. So all the standard Bibles we know of, King James, NIV, you know, all of them. You know, I looked over every one of those, and of every one of those 55, I found 52 all say Jesus will take back. Now, he has the power and authority to take. Now, that's a far cry from receive back. Now, I will point out that receive your life back doesn't negate that Jesus raised himself. However, it does take away the force of the scriptures. Because when we read the scriptures, it says he will take back. There was only three translations out of all those 55 translations I found that say he will receive back. And they were the... CEV, Contemporary English Version, the TS-2009, the Scripture 2009 Version, and as the Watchtower shared, the NEB, the New English Bible. So, after working with Jehovah's Witnesses for a while now, I've seen this so many times. Whenever they run into a passage that gives them trouble, that contradicts their doctrine, what they often do is they search all the Bibles. They look for any Bible they can find that has a different wording here, a different wording, something that they can use that's outside of the conservative standard translation, and they exploit that. They take advantage of that. Now, friends, this is not scholarship. To ignore all the 50-plus Bibles out there and to run with three Bible translations that, frankly, no one has ever heard of, that is not scholarship. I'm encouraging you, friends, research what you believe. Don't blindly trust anyone in what they tell you. Now, I shared this video for three reasons. One, the Bible plainly tells us Jesus raised himself. Two, the Bible tells us the Father raised Jesus, the Holy Spirit raised Jesus, and Jesus raised Jesus. It absolutely points to the Trinity. Uh, and the third reason I share this is because when we read these Watchtower pages without researching anything else, when we read these, they sound convincing. Half the time they use wordy language is hard to follow, or they use Bible translations. Like I said, no one has ever heard of these Bible translations. 
and they put the words in such a way that at the end of the day, you're believing something that's absolutely contrary to what the Bible just plainly says. So I'm asking anyone listening to this, whether you're Jehovah's Witness or not, read the Bible for what it plainly says. Don't let someone else manipulate you. Don't follow some organization that tells you something that absolutely contradicts what the Bible tells us. Just read it for what it says. Anyway, my hope at the end of the day is that you will follow Jesus, you'll live for Him, you'll submit to His ways, and you bow to His kingship. I pray this message bless you and helps you in your pursuit of truth.